Hi, I'm Helen. I work for Canal and River Trust's learning team. And today I've come out to Bosley Locks in Cheshire to show you a really simple experiment you can do at home to explain the effects of water pressure. If I go too fast at any point, just pause this video. The first thing you'll need is a large plastic bottle. This one's two litres. What you'll need to do then is you'll need to make some holes in a line from top to bottom about three centimetres apart. Get an adult to help you to do this. Once you've done that, you'll need to securely tape over your holes because we're going to fill this bottle with water next. A little bit of water will probably escape while you're filling it but don't worry about that. I'm going to take some water and fill this bottle to just above the top hole. Now while I'm filling this water up, why don't you make a prediction? What do you think will happen when we take the tape away? Do you think the same thing will happen all the way along the bottle? Do you think different things will happen? Have you had the thing? Hopefully, you've all got a prediction. Right. Now, before all my water escapes, let's have a go. After three, I'm going to take the tape away. One, two, three. streams at the bottom are much stronger and faster and the streams at the top are slower and less strong. So why did that happen? Why were the streams at the bottom stronger and faster than the streams at the top? Well, that's because the water above is applying pressure to or squashing the water below. The force that the water is being pushed out at is equal to the force it's being squashed by. Now, what does that mean in real life? Well, we call this water pressure. And if you think about the amount of water, that two litres that was in our bottle. If water pressure can even be seen in that small amount of water, imagine what a huge effect it has when you have big volumes of water, like in our locks here. Now, if you imagine that a volume of water, about two metres cubed, weighs the same as an elephant and then you look at the size of the lock behind me imagine what weight of water is in that lock and how much pressure or how much it's squashing the water at the bottom of that lock now when a boat comes in here we open a little hole in the gate which allows the water through and allows the boat to go down, a little bit like a lift in a building. But that hole is right at the bottom of the lock. So the water is forced through with immense pressure. And it actually makes the water very turbulent and dangerous. Boaters really have to be careful using our locks. Can you think of any other real life examples of the effects of water pressure?